This is Antonio Santana, NBI 3030, and this video is to help you, the viewer, uh, to help you convert it to Islam, to help you um, worldwide videos, to help you, I'm gonna, uh, I'm on direct, and it's to help you as a Christian lay individual, to help you to interpret a particular passage. So, call this my hermeneutical video. Um, because I realized that far too many individuals um, try to jump aboard and just try to interpret the Bible any way they want to and you can't do that this is just a quick maybe I have to upload this in two parts but how do you interpret the Bible how do you interpret a particular passage because the Bible is 66 books um, coming from the Protestant Bible Protestant scriptures which uh, historically I, I feel is the uh, the canonization of scriptures but I don't want to talk about that right now but um how do we interpret a Bible that has three languages, a uh, Hebrew, Aramaic, and um, Greek, for a, a period of 1,500 years? S massive, massive time range. Um, it's very unlike the Quran. The Quran has one author uh, over a period of like 20 some odd years. And the Bible has 1,500 years. And Muslims try to interpret the Bible as such, and you can't do that. You have to look at its context uh, for any particular verse. I know converted to Islam, you was just like um, you said that you were gonna interpret the word through, you know, looking for the somatic, uh, a, a somatic um, meaning of a particular word, and you think you got the interpretation. That's not correct. Once you get the semantic range of a particular word, you have to look at the verse in its context because the verse are are the verse preceding will give you a hint of what the word means, or or how the author is using it. So you have to look at yes the the word and and you could go to your Strong's Concordance, you could go to your Terry Kittle's Greek uh, theological uh, word dictionary, um, or you could go to different uh, theological dictionary sets um, stuff like that uh, to find out a particular meaning of a word. And then you got to look how the author is using it in that verse. Uh, also look in the paragraph because the paragraph gives indication to the context. Context is key. And then within that same context, the same book, look how it's used also in the same book. And the other chapters, the same word, how it's being used throughout that same book, from the same book, how is it used by the in different books by the same author. See, the Apostle Paul wrote 13 of the New Testament books out of the 27. And so how did the Apostle Paul use a particular word throughout his other epistles? That gives a hint as well, too, to try to find the true meaning of a particular word. Um, not just his definition, but how the author intended it to mean. Or how the Holy Spirit, you know, wanted him and stuff like that. And so you have to also look at how the New Testament uses that same word. Or uses that, that same particular uh, phrase or idea. And, and then from there you have to go to the Bible how the Bible uses it and lastly unfortunately this is what you do all the time converted to Islam you you do the last step in how to interpret a word and then you import that onto the text and you missed uh, basically one two three four five six seven you miss about seven steps in interpreting a text properly you take the extra biblical resources and interpret it onto the text. You can't do that. You can't take uh, the Quran, which comes over 600 years after the New Testament, after the writers of the New Testament, and take the Quran and Muhammad's understanding and pour it onto the text. I'm sorry, you can't do that. You have to look at the word, the verse, the paragraph, uh, the same book, the same book uh, are... are, are books by the same author and then from there the New Testament and then from there the entire Bible and then from there lastly that's your last resource and then the last thing you do is to look at extra biblical material which is comes from the how did the first century uh, interpret it and stuff like that you don't use non-biblical uh, perspectives uh, i.e. the Quran to interpret the Bible you do not do that so uh, in my next coming videos, I'm, I'm going to look at some issues. Uh, why is the Father greater than Jesus Christ? Because you sent me a, uh, a particular verse. Well, if Jesus Christ is God, why is his Father greater? And I'm going to look at that issue. I'm going to look at some other Old Testament atrocities. I'm going to look at these issues. Um, because Christianity 
we have the answers. Islam, they just tell you to shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything against Muhammad, despite his brutality. You can't talk bad about our prophet, but yet you talk bad about the prophets of the Bible. Um, upcoming videos, we'll look at those. Take care. God bless.